Hello friends, welcome to the new tech navigators. My name is PK. In this video, we will explain you how to create a business travel plan tracker and dashboard in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, this is the business travel dashboard and we have the tracker here. So let me explain you the tracker first. We have here trip ID, then we have employee name, employee ID, the department of the employee. Then we have here purpose of the trip. This is destination, then departure date and the return date. We have here duration, transport cost, then the accommodation cost, food and other expenses. This is the total cost, which is the sum of these three. Then the trip approval, whether it is approved or not. And then this is the notes, which is coming automatically on the basis of trip purpose. We have here the list of the trip purpose and the notes. So we are putting the lookup from here. Now I'll show you the dashboard. In the dashboard, we are showing the total transportation cost. So this is the total transportation cost, then the total accommodation cost, and this is foods and the other expenses. And finally, we have the total cost of the travels. This is the total cost by the department. We can see uh, we are spending much in the marketing department followed by IT department. Then we have here trip purpose distribution. So we can see maximum we are in the conference. We can see the big slice of the pie. Then here we have the total cost by the date. So we can see maximum is coming on the 26th of December. Then we have the total cost by date. And here we have employee buys cost verification. These are the different employees. Then we are showing the cost for food and expenses, then accommodations and the transport cost. So we can see this chart here. Now I will show you a step by step how we can create this in Google Sheets. So I'm going to the data sheet and uh, what I'll do, I'll copy this whole data till here. Just copy and uh, I'll go to the file and I'll add a new spreadsheet here. This is the blank spreadsheet, just rename it as data. And let's paste the data which we have copied from row number three. Just use shift control B to paste it. So this is the data we just have entered. And uh, then you can convert this data into a table if you want or you want continue with this format, the range format also. Now let's add the title here. So this is the tracker. So select this range and use the merge and cells. Let's put here. business travel tracker and uh, let's take this color here and then font uh, white and font name Arial rounded align this center and middle and increase the font size up to 22 around go to the view so uncheck the grid lines from here now we will select this range and uh, we will align this center and middle reduce the font size around 8 select this range this is the header so we'll fill some dark color so let's say i'm taking this color here and font uh, white make this bold increase the font size also let's change the column bit slightly okay now we will select this range and let's take some other range extra range or till the end and then we'll go to the border and take some lighter color let's say i'm taking this gray color and click on all borders so we can see some border in our data. Now let's delete this trip ID from here and we can delete the duration also from here. Total cost also the formula so we can delete this and the notes also. So we have deleted that. Now we'll put the formula for the trip ID so we can use here sequence function and then use the count a inside the sequence and select this range b4 till the end just close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting here trip id automatically so once you enter any name here it will appear automatically now we can make this as a drop down so just select till the end right click and click on drop down and done so we can see it is a drop down and you can just increase the column width. Similarly, we can do the same thing with the department and trip purpose so department till the end. Just right click and 
click on drop down we'll create a drop down for the department just click on done so we have a department drop down we can see similarly we'll create for the trip purpose also till the end just right click and drop down done and increase the column width so we have a drop down for trip purpose also now the duration we can use the formula return date minus departure date plus one or you can use the days formula also days end date then start date close the bracket plus one so we are getting here duration just select this and i'm just filling some light gray color just to identify this is a formula then the total cost will be this plus this plus this okay so just fill it down and fill the light gray color now for the notes we can use the vlookup from the trip purpose comma then we'll use the list so which we don't have right now just click on add uh, seat go back to the previous seat and here we have a list so let's copy it first paste that here rename it as list now use the vlookup use the vlookup with the trip purpose list select this range comma 2 comma 0 close the bracket hit the enter we have here notes now this tracker is completed and you can start the new entry now we will select these two dates till the end just right click and uh, go to the drop down select here is valid date done now if you double click anywhere you will see a calendar so you can select a date from there add a new seat and just rename it as dashboard and move it here we can select some range and uh, or we can copy it from the data also just copy it and you can paste that here okay so this will be business travel dashboard go to the view and so uncheck the grid lines from here now we'll start creating the dashboard like we have created here first we are taking the transport cost so just go to the dashboard here and let's select these two cells and use merge cells this will be transport cost align this center and middle fill here some dark color so let's say i'm taking this one and uh, white font make it bold select this range huge merge cells and fill here little lighter color so let's say this one we will use here formula sum data and this will be transport cost so transport cost is column j and just hit the enter align this center and middle font area rounded size take around 30 this is transport cost you can take the white font also now let's copy this and paste this from here and paste again and paste again now the next cost we will take from here we can take that is accommodation cost so you can just copy it from here and you can use the sum with the column k the next type of cost we have that is foods and other expenses so just take here the sum of column l the total cost we can take the sum of this or we can take the sum of total cost this one and rename it as total cost you can change the colors as you want and uh, you can reduce the column width this one slightly select these two column press ctrl and select these like this and then increase the column width Here you can increase the row width also, row height also, like this. And take the different color here. So let's say I'm taking here this blue theme and here I'm taking this. Here you can take some different theme. 
let's take this color here okay now we will create the charts like we have created total cost by department so just go to the insert and insert a chart just double click and uh, go to the data range and first we'll select the department so go to the data and we have the department on column d so we can select from d3 till the end add another range and we will take the total cost which is available on column m select till the end okay now here we will aggregate this and then we'll use uh, row number three as header so we have this chart and then we'll go to the customize we can make this chart as 3d we can change the color so we'll go to the series and let's take uh, this color and then we will add the data labels so we can add the data labels from here let's make it slightly smaller select the grid lines just double click on that and then uncheck the major grid lines and then we will go to the chart and access title and we'll put here title as total cost by department and we'll format the title align this center and font size will take around 12 or 14 font color will take black and just make it bold let's keep this chart here make it slightly bigger make a copy of this chart and paste it here now we can create this chart as a pie chart so just double click and change this chart type as pie chart this one and we'll change the range so total cost you can delete this and here we can take the trip purpose so that is available on column e so just select till the end click on ok now just format this so go to the customize first of all make it 3d then go to the legion and just uh, make it at bottom and you can add the data labels also so go to the pie chart and slice label put value so this is the count of trips so here you can change count of trips by purpose okay you can change the color so take some lighter color so let's say i'm taking here this color and here i'm taking this color this one and take here some other color let's say this one okay now the next chart we'll create this is total cost by date you can make the copy of this chart and just paste it here and make it slightly bigger double click set up and change the range first so first we'll change the this range we'll take the date and date we will take the departure date so the departure date is available on column g this one so select till the end the total cost will remain same so just click on ok and the x-axis will be departure date and here just add the series add total cost and we will change the chart type also so we will take this as line now go to the customize chart style make this a smooth line we will go to the series and here point size we will take around 7 point ok and you can change the line color also if you want so let's say I am taking some darker green you can make it slightly bigger also so that date will be visible properly so that is total cost by dates now let's make a copy of this and paste that here and in the last we will show the employee wise cost so just double click setup and we can delete this and just take here employee go to the data so the employee name is available column b till the end add another range and this time we will select the type of cost that is transportation first add another range so we will take the another type of cost that will be accommodation cost add another range and this time we will take the food and other expenses 
just click on OK. Then just change the chart type. So go to the chart type and select here this chart stacked column chart. And here we have to make few changes. So transportation cost is there. Just add a series as the accommodation cost. Then add another series as food and other expenses. Go to the customize and we will take it as a 3D chart. Okay, now you can change the colors as you want. Make it slightly bigger. Let's say for the this red one, just click and we can change the color here this one and just take here some lighter color okay and you can add the data labels also just click double click and then just add the data labels double click here and add the data labels take the position as center and here also take the position as center okay so this is in center Alright, so that is how we can create this dashboard. Now we can remove some extra columns from here. So we can just delete these extra columns. Just right click and delete. And select this range, use merge cells. Alright friends. So this tracker is ready and uh, you can input the data here automatically that will reflect in the dashboard. So friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.